in one of my previous videos i'd shown you how to limit responses in google forms using google apps script in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create an add on using the same google apps script code that we had written before getting into the code what are add ons add ons are customized applications that integrate with google workspace productivity applications such as the form publisher add on most add ons are built using google apps script and some other programming languages in this video we'll be using google apps script and some html to build the card for the add on if you haven't read the blog on how to limit responses in google forms i'll be leaving the link in the description you can check that out the form that we're going to be using in this video is a simple registration form if you prefer working with the google form i will leave the link in the description you can work with it this form contains uh, the name of the attendee the email address followed by the phone number now before we get into the main script we're just going to first create the add on card where the user is going to input the maximum responses that he wants in the google form to do that i'm going to open the script editor by going to the three dots here and clicking on script editor here we already have the limit responses code also once again if you want to understand what this code is there will be a blog and a video link in the description you can check that out so now to create the add on we're going to be using some html to write some html code you need to create a new html file to do that you just need to go to the plus sign here click on add file and click on html and you need to give it a name so in this case we're going to give this as a name as google underscore forms and i'm going to save it so this file has successfully been created now let's start out with the code here so i'm just going to first go ahead and clear this out and i'm going to create a new div i'm going to give it as a class i'm going to give it a name this is a lot of html codes if you want you can you using the timestamps you can skip over to the code ahead here we're going to be create we have created our first div class and we're going to create another one here so here we have created the id with the sidebar since we're going to be accepting values from the user we need to create a form for that so i'm going to name this as and i'm not now i'm going to be adding a paragraph here with some text that's going to be saying limit form responses now i want the text to be in the form of bold so i'm going to use the bold command here and i'm going to add in the text here it's going to be limit form responses and i'm going to put in a close i'm going to close the b and i'm going to close the paragraph here so the next thing that we're going to be doing is accepting input from the user so we need to input the maximum number of responses that the user wants in the google form so i'm going to be using the input function in html and here i'm going to be specifying the type so the type is going to be numbers so we're going to be accepting number from the user next i'm going to be specifying an id which which will use to access it so i'm going to give it as max underscore responses and then i'm just going to give this one a name i'm going to give it the same name it is max responses just be sure to remember all the ids that you're creating because we will be needing to access them next we're going to be adding the placeholder so this is going to be the text right before the input so i'm going to say enter max responses so i'm going to here i'm going to just close the input tab here i'm going to hit on save so the input one has successfully been added next after the user puts in the maximum response maybe he wants to enter it so we're going to be having a button here so i'm going to create a button i'm going to give it a class that's going to say blue i'm going to put a name then i'm going to be having the id once again this id is going to be an important id so i'm going to do it load underscore responses now i'm going to be using the on click button whenever the user clicks on the button the responses will get logged into a button so we're going to do on click and we're going to be doing open response window and now we have to give a name to the button so the name of the button is going to be say set limit and we're going to rotate and close it up here we're going to hit the save button so here we created a new button with the id and on clicking the button we need to run the google app script code using the on response window now we're going to now we are all done for now we're just going to close the div tags here now i'm going to be opening a script button here i'm going to say script here i'm going to be writing some google app script that we're going to be using 
to transfer the responses back to this code.js file. So here I'm going to be opening the function. Here the on response window is the function that is going to run on the button. When the button is clicked, so I'm just going to copy it here. I'm going to give function. I'm going to paste it here, close the brackets, and I'm going to open. And now we're going to be creating a variable called constant max. Max values, that is going to be there. So this is going to be having the maximum uh, responses that the user wants. And this we're going to be doing using the document. Document.get element. element by id and here we're going to be putting in the max responses id that is going to be the input one so we're going to copy it here and paste it in here and we're going to be removing the value out of this so we're going to be dot value and we're going to just have a semicolon here and now we're going to be using the google dot script dot run and now we need to specify the limit responses function that is there here so we're going to copy this function we're going to do a dot and we're going to run the function and here we're going to be passing the max val variable that we just extracted and say you want a confirmation mess message here so i'm just going to do logger dot log and i'm going to say the function function has been invoked let's keep that so now we're going to just click this here save the code so now we are done with the HTML code. Now the next thing that we're going to be doing is writing the Google Apps Script code. We have created the add-on for the card. Now it's time to write the Google Apps Script code. So I'm just going to go back to my code.js here. And to switch, you just need to click on this, the buttons here that says code.js and stuff. Next thing that we're going to be doing is we need to get the Google Form UI, like how it looks so that we can put in the Google Form, so that we can put in the add-on card. So I'm going to create a new variable called on open. I'm going to open it. And here I'm going to be doing the form app dot get UI. And I'm going to be doing the create add-on menu. And I'm going to add the items here and I'm going to open. And here we had done a show sidebar button here. So we're going to be doing that. I'm going to open it. Comma, add the sidebar here. Show underscore sidebar. And then we're going to be doing the last one after writing all this, you just need to do add to UI. So now the add-on will get added to the Google form and hit on save. Now the next thing, this show underscore sidebar is going to be the next function that we're going to be using. So we're going to go create a new function here, paste in show sidebar and open the brackets. And here we're going to be creating a new variable called const HTML. And this is going to be the HTML service using which we're going to be getting the template file from this HTML code and we're going to be creating the add-on. So what we're going to be doing is do using the HTML service dot create template from file. So we already have a file. So here you need to pass the exact same name that you had passed here. So rename, I'm just going to copy this, go back to your code.js and you can paste it here. And then we're going to be using the evaluate function followed by giving it a title. So title. So as soon as the user goes to click on the add-on, he will see the title that you have given. So I'm going to set title and here I'm going to say add. I'm going to give it as a form limiter add-on. So I'm going to minimize it a bit and I'm going to hit on save. The next thing that we're going to be doing is doing the form app and we're going to get the UI, get UI. And then we're going to be doing, we're going to be running the show sidebar one and we're going to do show sidebar and we're going to be passing the HTML variable here. So here we just created the add on from the template that we just created. And then we added the title for the add on. We have successfully created the template to write the code to accept the values from the user and store it in a variable. Next, we're going to be using the property service to get the value that the user enters. So to do that, I'm going to create another function. See, having functions organizes your code better. If I, if I try to write this in one function, it's going to cause a lot of errors. 
I'm going to create a new variable called on form submit and here I'm going to open it and I'm going to create a variable called const so I'm going to use the const command to create a variable and I'm going to do the limit value and here I'm going to be using the property service so the property service stores the data entered by the user in any add-on that you create so I'm going to do property service dot get document properties and then we're going to be getting uh, close the brackets here and we're going to get get property and here you need to pass the key that is there like the id so we're going to do limit i'm going to hit on save and here we have passed the key now we're going to be adding the same code that we wrote here once again in this so we're going to be doing it's going to copy this here and we're going to be pasting the same code in this here and we're just going to hit save so the, the it, so this part of the script that we're using has already been covered in the previous blog if you hadn't read it then you can check out the link in the description also if you want to watch a video you can check that out too we are done with our code but there is one more thing that is left that has been covered in the previous blog but i would cover it once again it's going to be adding a trigger so on form submit is the trigger as soon as the user using the add-on puts in the input the add-on will the trigger will check and it will then invoke the code that we have written so here we're going to be selecting the on form submit function and we're going to be doing it select from and the event type is going to be on form submit so i'm going to scroll down here and click on save and now your trigger has been added and here you can see that the trigger has successfully been added now let's go back and run the on open function that is going to be adding the add-on so we're going to click on run and you can see the execution started and it's completed let's go back to our google form so to access your add-ons even even if you have uh, downloaded it from the google workspace marketplace it's going to be clicking on this add-on and here you can see limit form responses are successfully coming so we're just going to click on open here and here say it's going to be limit form responses the form limiter add-on title that we had given here has successfully come in here so we're going to be adding say two and we're going to click on set limit now let's just go ahead and make two responses in the google form and here you can see that our add-on has successfully worked on receiving two uh, two maximum responses in the add-on the google form has successfully closed so this is all for this video i hope you understood how to create a simple google form add-on using some google app script and html code hope you enjoy enjoyed this video and if you like this video then don't forget to like share and for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next one